Gluten-free chocolate cake. Delicious. Soft. Wonderful. Hello, and welcome to Uncle Bill's Kitchen. First thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's take two cups of gluten-free flour, and we're going to add two cups of sugar to this flour. Make sure there's no little specks. Then we're going to add a three-quarter cup sifted unsweetened cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon and a half of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of instant espresso coffee, and just mix, mix, mix all together. We're gonna make sure that every bit of that seasoning and flour and sugar and all the wonderful goodness is incorporated throughout all the granules. And we're just gonna take our time and enjoy the process. Okay, so we're gonna keep swifting this up. And now it's time to put our wet ingredients together. We're gonna start off with one cup of buttermilk. And to that buttermilk, we're gonna add one cup of very hot water, which I've gotten directly from my faucet. One teaspoon of white vinegar. And we're gonna take a half cup of vegetable oil. Add that to the mix. Two eggs at room temperature. We're going to put those in there. These are large eggs. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we're going to go ahead and whisk that together until it's nice and incorporated. Giving it a nice little stir, 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 as we like to do. Believe it or not, this is my first gluten-free cake that I've ever made. I never understood exactly why people like gluten-free, but I guess there are some people who have an allergy to gluten, and by using this, it helps them uh, digest food much better. If you guys know why gluten-free is so great, can you leave it in the comments down below? I'd love to know. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our wet ingredients and mix with the dry. And then we're going to pause as we stir to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you get updates every week of when we release new videos. Now, because this is a gluten-free cake, we've been instructed to stir the bejesus out of this stuff. You cannot over-stir this batter. In fact, by mixing it longer, it incorporates all of the ingredients much better. And from what I understand, it makes a much better cake. Once this has all been incorporated, we're going to go ahead and set this aside in our refrigerator for 20 minutes to let everything set up. Unlike normal cake with regular flour, this cake actually needs the time to be ready to go into the oven. So we're going to go ahead and keep mixing this up. You see how nice and beautiful this batter looks. It's almost just like a regular cake. It's pretty simple, guys. I think you're going to like this. Uh, so far, so good. And we have it. Great. Now we're going to put the lid on this and we're going to stick this bad boy in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. 20 minutes have passed. Now we're going to go ahead and add our batter to our 9-inch cake pans. If you use 8-inch, please use three of them. I've put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom. As I've understood it, uh, gluten-free cake likes to stick. So by adding that parchment paper to the bottom of the pan, it's gonna make sure that we can get these bad boys out easily. Now I'm gonna go grab my spatula when we're off camera and put the rest of this in there. Don't worry about it. Now we've added our wonderful cakes and we've had them in the oven for about 30 minutes. No, nope, look, you see the toothpick test shows that it still needs more time, so I've added five more minutes. Five more minutes have passed and these cakes look great we're gonna let these cool off for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and take a knife and see if we can remove them from the pans as you can see they flattened down just a little bit if you need perfectly flat cakes just go ahead and take a knife serrated and cut a little bit off the top to make it even now we're gonna go ahead and release the cake from the side of the pan 
by using a butter knife. I find this is the easiest way. Works great. And, mm, hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's give it a little shake. And while I'm shaking this cake, hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps our channel out a lot, costs you absolutely nothing, and it lets you know when other great recipes like this come out. All right, we've got this. Take off the parchment paper, and would you look at that? Beautiful. Now, when you add your frosting onto your cake, make sure to let that frosting come down to room temperature. This cake is fragile. Fragile. Let me tell you, soft, delicious, and amazingly chocolatey. I would never have guessed this is gluten-free. I'm definitely going to be making this again. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it helps our channel out a lot. And by the way, everyone who's been sharing our recipes on social media, we just wanted to share a great thanks to you. You are making our channel a success, and we look forward to providing you with even more recipes in the future.